Hi guys and welcome back to some more Life is Strange. So in the previous video we actually managed to um, just hang out with Chloe. She let her join inside her room and you know we had that little confrontation with David where he was about to hit her but we intervened and saved Chloe. So yeah. And now we got out of Chloe's room because she was irritated and yeah, she stole David's gun. We told her to put it back but she just wouldn't listen. So yeah, let's sneak out and see where the story leads us. So we're in the lighthouse. We snuck, snuck out of Chloe's house and came to the lighthouse. Appropriate. Convenient. Awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke! Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Because of the well, dream! This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Um, why the drops in the I feel frame like rate? I'm in my nightmare again. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call you back later, okay? I swear. No problem. And you still have me tell me have to tell me your big secret, okay? <laughs> your white knight Warren here. <laughs> I know you were worried about me. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> right. Campfire. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. How long has that been here? Graffiti? Clearly, More graffiti. the Bigfoots are everywhere. Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Maybe we'll find something. Huh. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. I don't know. Can we not take a few pictures here? Because this view is so great. This would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. Huh. Can we take a picture? Ah. So tip for you guys, first look and then, yeah. And then click a photo. Try to click a photo of everything you possibly can. See? There's a cairn here. I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. What's this? Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Right, let's go talk to Chloe. Because there is apparently nothing else we can do. Or is there? Maybe we can click a photo of that. No, we can't. Let's speak to her. Sure, you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. Uh, you're in a good mood. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I should have 
taken his photo. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Files? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwall students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Um... Okay. What's Nathan's secret? What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cup of laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. Max, it was insane. I'm so furious. I'm so furious? I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. I want to trip, Seeing you so... after all these years feels like... Destiny? I don't know. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
get out, get out, get out, get out, go, go, go. And read the newspaper. October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zone. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? <laughs> Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. It's you don't both! have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Again guys, this is a super immersive story if you've seen this for the first time. The first time I played this, I actually got goosebumps during this moment and it was amazing. It's I still kind of could feel similar sensations but since I knew what was going to happen, I couldn't feel that exact same thing that I felt when I played this for the first time. I'm so sorry that the first recording I'm so upset with myself that I broke it and it's just sad. I wanted you guys to witness that but don't worry, second episode onwards I haven't played at any point of time and I'm gonna record that right now. So that's gonna be totally new for me and I'm super excited about it. And with that said, see you next time guys. Bye.
yeah so guys we actually i was I'm, I'm actually going to read what we have accomplished so we reported nathan which was what 63 percent of the people did we comforted victoria which was what 74 people of the people percent of the people did we intervened to help out kate which was what 84 percent of the people did and we came out of hiding to intervene which is what 35 percent of the people did all right moving on you let daniel draw your portrait these are all the side things i think which was 41 percent of the people 57 percent of the people did not sign 79 percent helped Alyssa. 44 percent erased the insults 68 percent watered the plant 98 percent did not touch Dana. Dana's pregnancy test. We recognized Victoria's photos, which was only 21%. Reorganized, sorry. Um, we did not write on the dirty RV. Uh, we saved the bird. We did not break snow Chloe's snow globe. We did not leave any evidence. And we read David's files. Right. What? Episode 2 out of time. So guys, we're going to be completing starting with the episode 2 in our next video and see you next time guys. Bye.